if you claim to be Philly 5 for 5, it's time to update your Twitter bios. Because there are six pro teams in Philadelphia now. The Philadelphia Phoenix. An ultimate Frisbee team of dudes that... Honestly, you wouldn't stop on the street and say, hey, what professional sport do you play? I was told that Red down on the uh, down the end zone over there is really good. He's like the best player. Sneaky athletic. Like, he's not going to jump off the page any, but it's a five-star recruit and a four-star body. But they could fly like Dr. J. Get up. Get up. Oh, holy oh, shit. Did you get that? Holy shit. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. And they could shit talk like Cassius Clay. We're going to start going out to Boston kick their ass again, go up to New York, spoil their party, and then, you know, have a ball, be the underdog. See, this is what you don't get with Howie Roseman, Daryl Morey, Dave Dombrowski. You get general managers calling each other out in the AUDL. So when the Phoenix invited me to come scrimmage, I had to see what Ultimate Frisbee was all about. And so I came with one goal in mind. I get a touchdown, I got a Sharpie in my pocket, so I'm signing this fucking Frisbee. I wore these uh, swooshy pants because they make you faster. They make you at least sound fast. Like I'm a good like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, like 40 guy. You wear swooshy pants. Like does that guy run 5'8", or does that guy run a 4'5"? Like, I care. Let's get the, let's get the swooshy pants. Is that 4'5", or is that 5'8"? You don't know. It's like wearing white spikes running down the first. You always look faster. How's it shape you in? I can think of myself as like Derek Coleman. Back in like 01, 02, I kind of just play myself into game shape. Like Shaq in 05. They show up fat, but you, you, know, you just play yourself into game shape after a couple days. So I'm going to throw it out to space here, and you're going to run and catch it. Like a dog. Yep. And I come out here. <laughs> So I go field, come back. Yep, perfect. A little wobbly. Yep, good. Throw it behind me. Oh, fuck that up. Ah, fuck. Heads, four. See that snag? That was a good snag. Shitty throw, great snag. You got that one, right? You got that one. That's getting on. That was on. That'd be on top ten. Throw it with your thumb on top and your other fingers below. Okay. It's upside down. Good. I got a shell off. Oh fuck. How do I make it like zoom like you do? Well. So bad. Uh, Jesus. Bend it towards the ground. Bend it towards the ground. Yeah, it's called an inside out, so you can get it snapped like that. Oh look at that. Uh oh. Happy learned how to putt. <laughs> I'm going deep. I'm going deep. I'm a great decoy. Fine hook! I'm fucking sucking wind. Oh, I'm sucking wind. You go! Coach, what do you think? That was mad decent. Fuck off. You don't have to lie to me. Dude, your button hook? That was, fuck, that was a great button hook. <laughs> button hook! I played a great decoy. I'm a great decoy. What's your throwing percentage right now? I mean, it's 100. 100. <laughs> but my air yards are like, my air yards aren't good right now. Yeah. No, it doesn't I'm thinking matter. and dumping. You motherfuckers are crazy, man. It's natural. It's a masochistic sport. You just run until you yeah. feel like Yeah. Guys are like so. golden retrievers out there. Mm -hmm. Just running and chasing frisbees. Going in. I get a touchdown, I got a Sharpie in my pocket, so I'm signing this fucking Frisbee. What a throw! Oh! That's my complete, that's my, my completion percentage! I've been worse than a while. <laughs> Hold on. Sign it. Thank you. 
<laughs> Guys, this was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for making me. Thanks for me act like an asshole for three hours. Hey, who fucking throw? Get a big meal, drink some water. He'll be alright. <laughs> alright, I'm here with Coach Tom. You saw me go through the drills. Played a couple scrimmages out there. I don't know if you saw it. I scored. It was amazing. Thank you. What did you see out there? Well, I, I, you look like an athlete, but then when I see you move out there, you're not moving the way I would like <laughs> you to move. Okay? Your timing is off, okay. and I don't know if you're walking out there, but we need you to move a little quicker. That is, okay. yes. Also, I need you to pick up the intensity a little bit. Okay. Like three or four more years, I think you'll be Okay. Really I'm 29. Okay. Uh, keep in shape. Do you need a glue guy? I do. I can keep the, I can keep the, the, the guys light on their feet. Right. Laughing all the time. They need water. water. I could do yes, water. Yes, I was a water boy back for the 90 pound cannoneers back yeah. in football. I was 10 years old. I was the best water boy they've ever had yeah. in Lansdale Cannoneer history. What else? I mean, the I wouldn't know what I can work need on. to be cleaned. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so all right. Well, I think He's that's what I Phoenix know. Fan. You're part of the Phoenix fan. Listen, I, this was a bucket list. Yeah. This is now crossed off my bucket list. I promise never to bother the Philadelphia Phoenix ever again unless I'm sitting in these stands watching the game. So the outlook kind of on the team right now is I was talking to a couple of the guys and they were like, you know, you guys went 3-9 last year and everything, but like, it's kind of like a nobody believes in us attitude. And it kind of seems like what I saw on the, on the, on the turf is like, you know, you kind of carry yourself like that way because you've been pretty successful. I know you were with another team that won the championship before. Yeah, sure. Uh, we've won the championship before. Um, we did come off of a season last year that was 3-9, uh, but there were a lot of games. There were six or seven games that were within two points. Um, so, you know, a two-point swing in ultimate is, is very easy to do, um, and we think if we can just step it up and tweak a few things that we can be a championship team. Who are you most looking forward to, like, beat? Or who are you most looking towards to, to play? Do you have, like, a rival not only on the field? Yeah, yeah. we don't like New York. Okay. Uh, New York is the reigning champions, um, and we bring them, we bring them, we bring the heat when we bring, we go up against them. I heard they're like the Yankees, like they just like they bought somebody today. I think guy from like Atlanta, he came to New York. Yep. I don't know why the cost of living sucks up there. <laughs> Atlanta's way better, but like so that's New York. New York, you got circled on the schedule. Yep, New York's circled on the schedule. We got to take them down. So people picked you guys to finish like 17th, and they say, hey, it's New York, it's DC, and then it's Esther and the gang. What do you want to say to those people? You know, the best place to be, my favorite place to be, is the underdogs. When no one expects you to come out there, and you come out, and you're starting to lay out people, you're starting to sky people, and you're scoring, and you're beating teams by six or seven points, and then everyone's turning and watching you with no expectations. That's the best. Love it. Underdog mentality. Uh, David Tuckman, I'm the general manager of the team. All right, what's like a general manager entail for the Philadelphia Phoenix? So, you know, um, I always like to say, if you think about Howie Roseman for the Eagles, take every other senior VP of whatever for the Eagles, uh, combine that all into one role, that's what I do. Do you draft better? <laughs> There's no draft, but I'd like to think the team that, uh, you know, our coaching staff has put together is, you know, t taking leaps and bounds. You guys are coming off a 3-9 and nine season, like, you being the GM, obviously you want to turn that around. Do you feel any pressure? Um, I, I'd be lying if I say I didn't feel any pressure, but, you know, I I live for this shit. You you don't get by in Philly without having a set of, you know, excuse me, I just set of balls. Just curse um, all you want. Yeah. Um, you know, it, like, the... Uh, three and nine pissed me off last year. Um, this is my first season as the general manager of the team, and, you know, I'm viewing it as a direct, uh, you know reflection of you know us as an organization and myself as a leader on how we're doing on the field you're like a silent trash talker on yeah. the field yeah, yeah, yeah. i can quietly let you know when you like you, you fucked up you threw a bad throw like yeah um, something good um dude that, whisper it dude that's not hitting today dude that's not that's not gonna hit no that's that's a turn that's a turn it's a shit throw that's gonna that's gonna be a turn okay. i'm surprised you caught that like you know i, I yeah. start getting their heads early you're like the glove you're like gary payton yeah yeah, yeah. you gotta play the mental game too like that's a funny thing because like i look at you right now like i'm not scared of you but like that's the, that's the, that's the silent guys the yeah. silent guys who talk shit exactly. then you're like there's a screw loose up there <laughs> yeah. and i there's a screw loose with a lot of guys out yeah. here i am a cutter for the philip phoenix all right what's the cutter mean like like give me a comp um, so similar to football, you've got your uh, quarterbacks and then your receivers. So I'm like the receiver. Okay. I make big cuts downfield, but I can also throw too. You more like a like a DK Metcalf. You more like a Debo Samuel. You're more like a Tyreek Hill. Ooh, probably Debo Samuel. Debo, okay, do everything. I'm pretty fast. Yeah. You can be a handler. Yeah. You can also be a receiver. Yep. Okay, You're multidimensional. I like that. I like that. Got any bulletin board material from any other teams that have been talking shit or anything? Oh. 
I don't know. I mean, some of the, some of the guys from like Ottawa, you know, I was on the uh, ADL's uh, Black Players Ultimate panel, so some of us had a little shit talk going. Okay. Uh, so like AJ Marion out in DC, that's my guy. But uh, yeah, we'll go at it in game. Not friends on the field. No. Uh, my name is Mike Campanella, and I am a defensive cutter. And you and you go by Campy though, right? I go by Campy. Ninety-five percent of the world calls me Campy. Are you just like always a balls to the wall guy? Because I'm pretty sure we have on camera you just leaping through the air. Yeah, I like to give 110% on each play, not to sound too cliche, but um, you leave everything out there in the field so you don't come off wanting more. So, like, what are you, like a cornerback kind of, like in football? Uh, I've been likened to a cornerback when it comes to uh, my defensive play, footwork, and anticipation of the space. Do you have a comp like Darius Slay, like Tyron Mathieu? Like, are you a Patrick Peterson type? Uh, that's a good question. I think, uh, like, Namdi Asamoah a little bit. Okay. Like, not great here, but Oakland. Yes, exactly, exactly. He was a really good shutdown defender. He didn't get a lot of takeaways, but he can really seal his person off really well. You don't have a car, right? Not anymore, I don't. All right, all joking aside, you did move pretty well out there. Oh! No, I know I've blown it now, but I kind of looked over and I'm like, who is that? He's, he's, he's moving okay. I'm like, ah! I shot 100% from the field in college. Um, yeah. One for one. Yeah, and so, uh, my, per, my per 40 numbers are great.